Subway tile will always be a classic wall surface choice for your project, and these tiles are a consistent bestseller from our store. But did you know that there are many different ways you can install the same tile, and each can totally change the look of your space? The origin of subway tile dates back to 1904 in New York. This 3x6 tile gets its name from, you guessed it, the NYC subway system where it was installed. The original designers wanted to have wall surfaces in the subway to look great and be easy to clean, which is exactly why we still love them now for our kitchen and shower wall surfaces. Subway tiles are classic and versatile. You can install the exact same 3x6 subway tile in many different ways, and each arranged pattern looks different from the next. Take a look at just some of your options. First up is the horizontal brick set, also known as running bond. Now this is probably what you pictured in your head when we were mentioning subway tile. Very classic installation where you're splitting each tile in half and staggering them horizontally. Horizontal stack tile is another great contemporary or modern look that you could add to a space. Basket weave patterns are very interesting and look pretty awesome when you do a contrasting grout color. This is a single basket weave and here's a classic double basket weave pattern. Very interesting and looks great in a shower too. Next up is the vertical stack. So again, we're not staggering and it's a very symmetrical modern or contemporary take. You can even take it a little bit further and stagger and offset your stack a little bit. Vertical brick set or running bond is a great option. Now running your tile vertically is a great way to add height visually and make a wall or a backsplash area appear larger. Don't forget you can run any of these patterns at a diagonal. Now here's a brick set running bond, but set at a diagonal. Keep in mind with any of these patterns, we can do them as an accent in your space using the same tile. We can do a cooktop area or a tiled shower niche or shelf. This is the straight herringbone pattern, and you can take that same herringbone and install it vertically as if it's being woven upwards. Of course, we should note that some of these patterns require more cuts, which can add to your material and your labor costs, and you want to use tile installers that you can trust and that we're recommending for your project. All of these pattern options, and we haven't even thrown in another important detail, that subway tiles don't have to be white and they don't have to be shiny. Color and texture variation can change the look of your wall surface.